Okay, so today I um, wanted to test out the cameras, see if they are in fact heated or not. So I have my trusty little FLIR here. We're gonna hook that up to my phone and check out the new Autopilot 2.0 car and see if these cameras are heated. There's been a lot of talk that these right here may or may not be heated. And same with these side ones. Excuse the mess, we just went for a drive. Um, so if those aren't heated, those could probably get a lot of snow put on them. So I'm going to go ahead and switch over to my phone and my FLIR, and we are gonna see if they are in fact heated. We just got back from maybe like a 10 minute drive, so it's like, I don't know, like 20 degrees outside, it's really cold. So we'll be able to see if they are heated. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to this, and I will be right back. Okay, so now we are back with the FLIR on my phone. You can see, obviously, the headlights are a little bit more toasty just because we just went on a drive. You can see the wheels. And the most intriguing thing is the right there. So it definitely looks like the camera, at least this one, is heated to some degree. Um, there's some heat coming off of it whether it's just operational or there's a little heating element in there because it is definitely hotter than the surrounding temperature by I don't know like 15 degrees or so uh, maybe even 20 so that's definitely good news and then over here <clears throat> so this side might be a little skewed just because of the sun but you can see the camera's right there, it's about 50. Um, don't really know if that one's actually heated or not. Can't really tell, doesn't necessarily look like it. So that might be a wash. We'll have to come back to that one in another video. <clears throat> Coming around the car, we're looking here at right there is the rear camera and it is producing some heat it's about 43 and around it is mid 30s so it's definitely producing some heat but you can also kind of see there's like a line there maybe that's like an electrical line or something i don't know but it's producing some heat there and then last but certainly not least let's go ahead and look at the three main cameras up there and those are producing heat 55 or so and then about 45 elsewhere so yeah about 10 degrees hotter there it was a pretty short drive but I would have expected to see it heat up anyway just because obviously cameras will get hot when using them but it's good to see they're heated up only one I'm kind of concerned with oh there's my finger is the side one right here on the B pillar because there was no heat put on that Although I think snow would necessarily accrue right there like it would in the other locations. Okay, so here we are in my Autopilot 1.0 car. Just want to check out this heated steering wheel. And there you can kind of see all the filaments inside of it that are heating. I've had my car on for 5 minutes and David has had his car on for 5 minutes in his Autopilot 2.0. So let's go ahead and compare the two. Here's what it currently looks like. Um, you can see garage is roughly 54 in the cold spot, and the wheel is up to 120 in some spots. Um, let's see. 110, 120. So I'd say it's 110 to 120 is a safe bet. So there you can see that. And then... Um, let's go ahead and go out and check out the mirrors and windshield wiper blades. Okay, so there are my side mirrors. You can see they're about mid-90s to about one, almost 130. And then up here for my windshield wiper blades, you can see those are heating. And they are uh, 100 to 110. Yep. So there's those. So now let's go ahead and walk over 
to David's car. So here you can see the side mirrors are basically the same, 110 to 120. I think mine were a little hotter, but not bad. And then let's look at here. We're at yeah. 100 to 120, so that might be a little hotter than mine were. And then let's go ahead and go inside. Okay, so you can see here his is maxing out at about 110. 115 almost mine was at about 120 so it is cooler but really not by much but it's cool enough to where you can keep your hand on it longer and not have to keep turning it down which is kind of a pain to keep turning it on and off so it definitely is cooler than mine um, I guess there's a couple spots that were 119 but overall Seems like it's cooler than my Autopilot 1.0 car. So I guess there is that change too. I think that's basically it for this video though. Definitely leave any comments down below if you have any questions. I'll be sure to do another updated video on the B-pillar after a little bit longer of a drive, see if it heats up. Uh, but be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new and I'll catch you guys later. Bye.